guys, my little saggies, my little saggies. Let's do this, Brutus. All right, first half a match for my saggies. First half a match for my saggies. Man, Leo was the shortest one so far. It was so straight to the point. Let's see how, let's see what you guys are at. Sages. Oh, Leo had that too. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. So something's going on. There's some type of challenge with the relationship and being, you know, way too many. Thankful for what you have in life. Thankful for what's been presented or that's around or that you're fully aware of. You know, so that means if you're not grateful right now, you're the complete opposite. So it's a lesson. So we shall see. Saggy, saggy. March. First half of March 2020. Self esteem. Discipline at the bottom of the deck. Poses the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So you either have, you know, a lot of confidence right now or not so much. But to me, it's like, it's whatever benefits your soul. So if you're in a relationship that's not great, then, you know, it's, it's not good. Have, you know, have the confidence to fix it if there's reciprocity or, or see your way out of a situation. Sagis. First half of March, please. Let's wait to my next Sagis. First half of March. You deserve love. So you're not getting what you need in, in some type of situation. You deserve the right type of person, the right type of appreciation, the right type of that type of stuff, you know. You got trust. I did see let your friends help you. That wanted to peek out, but it didn't. Past life relationship just wanted to peek out too. So it's like wanting to recapture too many. Wanting to, but it said unrequited love, which makes sense. Not enough self-love. So there's not enough self-confidence coming in with something, with someone. One more for Sagis. First half of March 2020. But you want to recapture that, that youthfulness. You know what I mean? Like that feeling you used to have. That you don't really have. But this is saying, you know, go ahead and play. Trust the situation. You deserve it. Healing family issues wanted to pop out, but it didn't. And we have make an effort. This could be the one. Bottom of the deck, we got new love. So this is a whole lot too. Leo came out with some pretty powerful energy like this too. So I don't know if you linked to a Leo. <clears throat> So this is a challenge because it's like you need to make the effort. You need to trust a certain situation. You're in a situation right now that obviously doesn't serve you. Thinking about something with someone. Sagis. And it's like with this whole this could be the one. That's too many. This whole this could be the one. If someone's on your mind. Holy cow. Two of cups popped out. Nyla. I feel the need to stand up with you guys. Hold on. Let me have a moment. So I Let's just get these cards out real quick. I don't know if you're not getting enough. Like I'm not sh I don't know if you're not getting enough exercise. You need to stretch. I'm working. You got the pool. 
Shada? No. Yellow yeah, orange. Is that two cups making an appearance again? The moon you could be down with the Cancer Pisces. Where's that? Where's that? Okay. So you end fire energy. So you got feelings for something, someone. Let's get too many. Oh, justice and the seven of swords. So you definitely know you deserve and want something new. Fresh, carefree. There, but there's somebody you're thinking of. It's as clear as day. Trusting the situation, going towards the unknown, making the effort, making something right, balancing out the scales. This could be sabotage. <clears throat> I think you guys need more. Exercise, I'm not really sure what that's regarding. I felt like, I don't know. Look at it, see, I sat again. I'm like, I think it's just you antsy, being antsy. Tell me about the fool. It's like, it's like you have a chance for a fresh start here. About the fool. <sighs> Looks like something ended. Obviously, for a new door to open. So maybe something's like too fresh. Oh. What? Give me those. Seriously. What is. My house is full of gummy bears, guys. Gummy bears. Huh? I don't know how they keep coming into my house. So something had to end for you to have a new stat. So something just recently ended. And a new door is about to open. And it's going to be worth it. It's something that you deserve. Okay. So something about this two of cups. So it's like a new opportunity. Well... Will you take the opportunity? It looks like it's the type of opportunity that's been presented before. So it's kind of like, will you put in the effort? Will you put in the teamwork? So this two of cups, somebody offered it to you. You offered it to somebody and it's coming back around. Maybe you feel like you missed an opportunity. It, you know, I don't know. Doesn't look like it per se. Looks like it's still here. This could be the one making effort. So if you truly feel this way towards someone, then make the effort. Go towards the unknown. You got the sun with the moon. I love that combination. Somebody else had that same combo. Oh, I think it was in today's daily. Well, you could be down with a Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Sag, Aries, Libra. It's whatever, whatever it is, whatever you're unaware of, it's going to be extremely positive. The sun's known as one of the best decks in the card in the decks. Tell me about the queen of wands. 
So I don't know if you're going after her or if that's the energy you're in. Because we have multiple energies here. You got the high priestess. Here's the coin at the bottom of the deck. You go from the east to the ten. That's like fulfillment. <laughs> I feel like you walked away from this energy or they walked away from you. This is a secret. You're either holding a secret against the Queen of Wands or she's holding a secret against you. It's like she's holding something a secret. Because she's hiding something. I don't see any negativity around. It's almost like she's got feelings for you, vice versa. There's something. She's holding a secret. Maybe that's why I was up and feeling antsy. Let's see the moon again. So she's surrounded. There's there's a secret surrounding the, the moon. It's the unknown. It's, this energy is surrounded by the moon and the unknown. A secret. So it's almost like well, I'd say normally she's unaware of it, but that's not it. It's like she's aware of it and she's not talking about it. There's a secret. The moons can sometimes speak of deception, especially with the seven swords here. But I'm not looking at it as deceptive energy. Not what make an effort. Trust, you deserve love. This could be the one. You're like my trickiest read so far. Tell me about justice. Page of Wands. So it's an opportunity to move forward. It's passionate energy, it's fast, it's furious. She's justice coming in the queen of coin. That's not the first time. Because it's justice isn't like karma. This is the feminines coming in as, well, fair and just energy, right? But Libras. It's not the first time my, my justice was clarified with the queen of cups. So it's like she's ready for an adventure. She's ready for all sorts of stuff. Tell me about this four of wands. Four of wands, what? Tell me about the seven of swords. I saw the four of wands, that's why I said it. Sorry, troops. Something's going on with you guys. The four of wands, apparently. Knight of swords. So someone's been lying to have feminine energy or being deceptive with the feminine energy. But the thing is, you got this this chica right here holding a secret too. Let's go about the high priestess. Tell me about this secret. Hoping you guys are gonna be as simple as Leo's, but nope. But nope. Ace of Cups. And the Two of Cups. And I got the Two and the Twice and the Ace of Coin. Oh my god, and the Ace of Swords. Her needing enough strength. Six of Wands, a star. Someone could be in the public eye. What the friggle sticks? So she's hiding the fact. That she's in love or she wants a new opportunity with someone. And 
this energy over here, just like last time they talked or whatever went down, he lied too. So it's like you got two energies that are not telling each other how you feel. But this could be a, be a person. So you obviously know who you are to each other because you're not telling each other how you feel. So you know who this is. Okay. You're with the world, you got the Ten of Wands. So this is a lot of pressure, whatever this is, but it's like someone knows they deserve this. You got you got two it's like you got two energies, right? It could be the King of Wands, you could be down with an Aries. You got two energies that got feelings for each other, but they're not doing nothing about it. Because something already ended. Could have been a lot of attraction here, a lot of playfulness, a lot of flirting. But not no more. But here's the thing, it's like she's hiding how he feels and he's hiding how he she feels, vice versa. She, but she's she's she could just be if you're feminine you're just focusing on work, getting your passion back, the desire. No lack of confidence came out here, so to me this has to do with you guys' soul. Both being brave enough. Both being thankful for the opportunities that are here. Making sure you're with the right people. To with relationships, people that serve your higher good. Not just any Joe Schmo or Becky. So there's an offer coming back around. Could be from a King of Wands. Or the Queen of Wands, but it's like a court couple. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Six of Wands, so it could, it's, it could still be successful here. I got the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Or is, I think it's Ego with the, on top of the Seven of Swords. I think it's Ego got in the way of something. Six of Wands. Tell me about the Six of Wands real quick. Justice again. Something's going to be karmically justified here. Something that went wrong. I'm surprised the blame game didn't come out. Okay, so you both... Feelings are mutual. For sure. This is something that already ended. So you got some type of energy, some type of Aries coming at you. You might want to watch Aries. You got an Aries energy coming at this energy with an offer. So she might have offered it before or, or he did and it wasn't taken. But however it rolls for you. But the opportunity, you know... Looks like there's going to be a new opportunity. She's definitely hiding how she feels. And, and he was lying about something too. But he's got feelings too. Maybe I'll just print a cup so quick. It's more of a reconciliation than healing. Lots of reconciliations going down. I said, tell me about justice. The six of pence wanted to come out. So it looks like she gets some type of justice. Feminine energy. Hold on. 
It's really focused on the feminine here. More than anything. I just said, how does the King of Wands feel? Princess of Cups. So it's like you're both on the same exact page. And they want to talk to you. Okay, so it's almost like they're in love. It could be somebody from your past. Well, that's a given. We already figured that out. Definitely maturity here. That's a soulmate card, but you could be having dreams of each other. Set like the six of cups. Success. And the three of cups for a little too. So Looks good, troops. Um, he feels the same exact way as, as she does. And it's ironic. You're both coming in with the same type of emotion in the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. You know, it's a court couple. You're definitely on the same page. He's going to come in and, and, and talk about it. Okay. So... Yeah, we're going to leave it at that. It's, it's definitely mutual. You know, feelings, wanting to be together. Hidden emotions. It's like you both need to put the effort in. You both know there's potential. You both know you need to trust. You both know this could be the one. You both haven't been in the best relationships. You know, it's being thankful for what's around. Having the confidence to pursue. So, best of, best of luck. I love you.